Hey guys, welcome to another Maple Story 2 video, and today we're going to be talking about fishing. Just uh, your general complete guide you need to know about fishing. One of the more, I guess, side things you can be doing during your time on Maple Story 2, for the most part, I don't do it too much. It's just because I don't really look too far into it. However, it is very important for um, a few things, mostly just to increase. Uh, it's a good means of getting more experience and increasing your prestige rank, but it's also really, really important for getting a bunch of trophies. Because if we go ahead and check over here, where are you at, fishing? Come on. Two hours later. Ah, here it is. Alright, so I just had to type fish in the all, uh, the all filter. So basically, there's a whole bunch of trophies that you can pick up from fishing as well, along with a bunch of dyes. So if you want to go ahead and customize your character's hair and eye and stuff, then you can pick these up, which are very important. So there that is. Now, uh, fishing, gonna get right into it. Just a quick precursor, I actually don't have the max fishing rank because, uh, if memory serves, I am only... A veteran angler so I'm not that far or I'm not like maxed out all the way but uh, I do I've been fishing for a tiny bit just here and there whenever I could um, and uh, yeah I just want to get you guys into it a little bit so let's go ahead and show you guys first exactly what fishing is so fishing if you go over to your inventory and check your fishing music tab chances are you'll have a rod in your inventory to get a regular rod you get it just simply by completing the uh, storyline quest so if you go through the epic storyline you are guaranteed to get a fishing rod alternatively you want another way to get a fishing rod, let me go ahead and uh, find a pretty popular spot to fish. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, go to recommended fishing spots, or let's just go to Hennessy's for the time being. Okay, so here we are. Let's go ahead and head over to, I guess, just uh, one spot to uh, fish in. So, whenever you fish, uh, you're also going to be given access to the fisherman shop over here. To my knowledge, I think this is the only way you can access the fisherman shop. If you guys know another way to access it, let me know. So uh, when you pick up a fishing rod, you'll be able to also just buy standard staple fishing rods here. To get better fishing rods, uh, I believe you mostly just have to go fishing, because I think fishing rods can also get more fishing rods, apart from buying it over here. Although I do understand, you can also collect um, fishing rods uh, from opening various boxes. I don't remember exactly if they're from the Get Rich or the Daily Missions or from something else, but I do remember getting uh, the Orange Kevlar fishing pole somewhere, don't necessarily remember where. But uh, yeah, so you can collect a whole bunch of fishing rods, and these fishing rods, what they will do is that they will basically fish faster. So the higher level the fishing rod is, the faster you'll be able to fish. A uh, wooden fishing pole by itself doesn't do anything, but uh, if you go into the uh, carbon fishing poles, uh, it starts to lower the time by uh, 2 or 3 seconds. And then if you go into, say, the master angler ones and um, check the chubby whale fishing pole, it reduces the time by 7 seconds. So it's pretty substantial, it's good for just like snowballing how quickly you can fish. The way to level up your fisherman rank is to just fish. Let me give you guys a quick example on how to fish. First, when you cast your rod, I'm gonna go ahead and just use the uh, regular standard polished wooden fishing pole, and uh, you're gonna want to find a spot to fish. It doesn't matter exactly where you fish um, in terms of like what tile you fish on. It's more important what map you're actually fishing on. But uh, let me show you how it works. Just press spacebar, and uh, it'll just start doing this kind of like you know, as you know, the uh, Pokemon, the way you fish in Pokemon, kind of the same thing. You just wait for a bite. Two hours later. Alright, so you get this mini game, and uh, the bob will start to uh, fall down, and uh, your goal is to just press spacebar to hold it in to that little bob over there. I'm gonna try to do it again. Two hours later. Alright, so once again, the bob will go down. Just gotta press spacebar a couple times to push it back into the bar, and boom, there you go. And then you get to uh, collect the fish, which will then get stored in your fish album right over here. If you have collected it before, um, it'll appear over here, and if you haven't collected it before, then uh, it's gonna just get a brand new fish. Um, there's a bunch of uh, different aquatic creatures that you can pick up apart from fish, and uh, they even tell you where you can get them, or not where you can get them, well, yes, it tells you where you can get them, some of them are unknown, but uh, it also tells you what rank the fish is, so like you have to be X rank to get this one, and so on and so forth. There are four biomes that you can pick up the fish. There's a freshwater, there's a unique biome. A uh, unique biome essentially consists of all things like poison waters and like sewage and stuff. That's why the fish look really mucky if you see over here. I also, you can also get them in lava. So you can fish in magma, you can fish in lava, you can fish in sewer water. I believe you can also fish in like oil. Yeah, you can fish in oil. The unique biome is basically an etc. biome. A uh, special biome I believe you can pick up. Uh, these are basically like crustaceans or like mammals like dolphins and such or a seahorse and octopus so this is for non-fish items however these are treasured items which uh, you can sell for quite a decent amount of meso so i'll explain that a little bit more later salt water as the name implies you just fish them in the ocean and the fresh water you fish them in like lakes and rivers okay so let's go ahead and get you into i guess uh, the various fishing ranks there are four tiers for fishermen but within those tiers there are four ranks so you have to climb up 
So start off with a beginner, intermediate, advanced, and master, or in MS2's terms, start off by being, I believe, just a beginner angler, a veteran angler, then an expert angler, and then master angler. So uh, to continue raising your fishing rank over here, uh, I'm currently a veteran angler, so I'm intermediate. Just gotta keep fishing over and over again in the areas that can increase your fish rank. When you fish, uh, if you open the map and uh, you see this one spot over here, it says recommended fishing spots, it tells you exactly where you can fish. Oh hi, there's Sky Fortress, it's moving. That's actually pretty interesting, that's the first time I saw that. And it points you every single location that you are able to uh, fish in. The higher your rank goes, the more fishing locations are accessible to you, but uh, bear in mind your fishing rank will not go up and you will not gain experience if you fish in lower ranked areas. So it says over here, if you also highlight over the map, it says freshwater, fishing, and beginner 1. So most of the time, you start off in Tria, then you work your way around the maple world, and then as you go further, you can go into intermediate, then you go into more intermediate, and if you go over here, it turns to advanced, I believe over here is, uh, where's master? Uh, oh no, it's master in car car island, I believe? No, where is it? Yeah, there's, so you get master rank over here for fishing. So the further, basically the harder the map is, or like the higher level the map is in terms of like monsters and the difficulty of it, the better the fishing location. And you can fish in any place that has a body of liquid of some sort. In other words, you can even fish in Beyond Link Triss's Poison Water, or you can even fish in the lava in uh, Fire Dragon, which is what a lot of people like to do. And uh, some trophies actually entail you fishing in those precarious locations. There are some fish that you can pick up that are only available in certain locations, like picking up fish in magma and such. Okay, now, why exactly do you want to fish? Uh, the most part, like I said, fishing is just mainly for picking up better, uh, more experience as well as getting more trophies. And uh, it also can be a somewhat sustainable source of income. Not really sustainable, but it is a source of income. As I said earlier, in the special pool, uh, you can actually pick up some pretty valuable prized fish, as well as fishing can provide you with a bunch of other things, like um, ingredients. Well, these are more drops, but uh, you can pick up some other stuff like assorted seafood and things like that. I don't really have any prized fish with me at the moment because I sold all of them. Most prized fish, they come around 10k meso each, and depending on how easily you can pick them up by picking up lures to get better fish, uh, you can get quite a decent amount of them. So in the fisherman shop, I'm going to go ahead and quickly explain what you can pick up other than the uh, main fishing pool or rods here. You can also get some uh, fisherman outfit clothes, which are, I guess, nice. And uh, you can also pick up crystal fragments. So if you don't feel like going to a nearby town to buy crystal fragments and there's a body of water nearby, the fisherman shop does have crystal fragments that you can pick up for whatever reason. Now, if you scroll down, you're going to start to run into a couple lures. So lures can increase your overall fishing abilities. So with uh, skinny worms, you can pick up a fishing success chance, and then uh, shiny golden lures uh, here can catch you special fish. The higher the lure is, the better you can pick up, and you can also pick up um, extended uh, duration lures. So here you go. There's a one hour one and a three hour one. They're very, very cheap, so you can definitely pick them up. To actually use the lure, I believe uh, you mostly just have to click the uh, lure as if it would be a buff. There you go. And then there you go. So now you can catch uh, six species of shiny golden fish. Of course, the higher you go, you can pick up more, I guess, good fish. Yeah, so there it is. And it lasts for quite a long time. Now, as you guys know, when you're playing music, you can get auto performance vouchers to basically loop the song that you're playing over and over again to continue gaining experience. There's also an auto fishing voucher, which allows you to continuously fish without you having to actually touch the keyboard at all. So even though earlier there was a mini game that you had to play to be able to catch certain fish, the auto fishing voucher will allow you to just go through the entire fishing process without having to do that minigame at all. Although in return, you have a chance of failing a capture, whereas if you do it manually, you will always be able to get the capture if you get that little minigame done. So I have a 30 minute auto fishing voucher, and I'll show you exactly how it works. First things first, switch over to an actual decent rod, and let's go to a place where I actually can get points out of fishing. In the recommended fishing spots, this is where you can fish to actually gain experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, Gonna go to Molten Hourglass. I think this is a lava fishing spot? Yeah. Okay, here we are. Quite a bit of a precarious location to fish. So let's go ahead and drop my lure here. Actually, let's find a spot that I'm not going to die in. I think this is good. Oh no, this is an island right here. Okay. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pop an auto fishing voucher and then uh, just drop my rod over here. Oh no, I'm not uh, to get this one. And uh, there you go. So it'll be auto fishing right here, and then uh, you'll gain a use auto bait, which uh, in order to use auto bait, all you gotta do, just take your lure and uh, drag it in there, kind of like that. 
But bear in mind though, it'll automatically consume the lure if it's a different one. And uh, even if the lure you're using is worse or of a different category than uh, the lure that's currently being used, it will override that. So I'm just gonna drop that over there. But uh, for the most part, if you use the three hour lure, so you don't have to auto bait it because it's gonna be there for three hours. Now, as uh, for what you can do apart from that, uh, if you have auto fishing vouchers, you can extend that by uh, 30 minutes or an hour. Unfortunately, like I mentioned earlier, you can't stack auto gathering vouchers or auto fishing vouchers on top of each other. You have to wait until the buff wears off and then use it again, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. But uh, one thing you can do is uh, if you do have merits in terms of red or blue merits, you can manually extend it by up to 30 minutes, one hour and three hours. The currency will be deducted upon refresh of uh, the extension and you can extend the auto fishing buff up to eight times. So if you want to, you can extend this for 24 hours. Which means that if you feel like, let's say, fishing while you're going to bed and you don't mind spending a couple merits, you go ahead and pop the uh, auto extension, go to bed, and then come back eight hours later and you'll get a lot of experience and a lot of fish. Okay, so apart from that, I'm going to leave a link in the description below on where you can collect which fish along with a bunch of other fishing resources. As you know, whenever I make a guide in MapleStar 2, I leave extra resources and uh, I guess information in the description so you guys can learn more about it. But uh, that's basically how fishing works from a mechanical sense. Let's talk about just a few more things. So when you're fishing, to increase your fisherman rank, as I said before, you have to collect certain fish. Depending on what fish you collect, you'll gain points. Your fisherman rank, I believe, continues to go up every time you collect a either collect a brand new fish or a prize fish. In other words, every time you collect a brand new fish, you will gain a uh, mastery rank for that. So you basically, you'll have to travel all over the maple world to collect as many fish as you possibly can, and you'll be able to continue increasing your rank. Or if you collect a prize fish, which I'm assuming is just a rare value, a rare version of that current fish. So if we look at the, let's say, let's look at this fish right over here, the freshwater bream. Uh, if you collect it the first time, you'll gain mastery equal to the ranking of that fish. But if you get a prize to freshwater beam, I think that's what they're talking about, uh, you get that mastery again. I think it has to do with the metal that you pick up, like this metal over here, which is like a bronze, then there's a gold, and there's like a, or there's a bronze, and there's a silver, and then there's a gold. If someone wants to tell me exactly what a prize fish is or how you can tell if you get one, I believe it's a small chance just to get a rare version of that fish, kind of like a shiny Pokemon. And uh, yeah, okay, so one other thing uh, I should let you guys know, I think it's the final thing I want to talk about, is that you know when you party up with another party, you get more meso and uh, I believe a bit more experience. But uh, you can also get better fishing rewards. So what a lot of people like to do, I believe if I were to go ahead and go into the party finder, uh, you can go fishing in a party. So let me go ahead and go to Risa right over here. I'm going to join his party. I'm going to cancel this. And then let's go to the Merry Village. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of people here. Okay, where is my party anyway? Yeah, they're in the Merry Village, but where in the Merry Village are they? Hmm. Can you change channels in here, maybe? No, you can't. Where are they? They're inside the Merry Village, but they're just all AFK. Yeah, where in the Merry Village are they? <laughs> I'm confused. Two hours later. Oh, there's probably like a different map for you to fish in. But anyways, if you're in a party, you do get a higher chance to get more uh, prized fish. So if you want to fish in a party, that's your well, you're actually recommended to do that. So I believe that's going to be it. If I missed anything in particular, please be sure to let me know in the comment section below. But I think I got everything, apart from getting experience and getting more prestige, as well as getting a couple rare items that you can get from Meso. It's mostly just for trophies. It's not very important for progressing your character in terms of strength, unless you need to get 500 trophies. And we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys again in the next video. Take care.